How you doing, Andrew Allabach, ADP Sales Rep. Dr. Daniel Page. Hi, I'm Alan Page. Andrew Allabach. Dr. Daniel Page. Dan DeGrazio. Dr. Daniel Page. Nice to meet you, Dan DeGrazio. In case you guys were ever in need of any medical assistance. Thank you. Thank you. There's my card. Thank you. Thank you. This is my card. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate that. Here you go. Thank you. Sit down. Appreciate it. All right. Um, and now, before we get started, do you mind if I take notes throughout this? No, by all means. Perfect. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, um, first, get things started. Um, get a little background uh, with your company. Uh, is this your only location? No, we have a second location at Peachtree City that employs another 15 staff members, okay. in addition to the 20 we have here at the Newman office. Okay. All right. So, um, I was unaware of the second location. Um, do you have any projected expansion plan? Uh, assuming everything stays on track, we intend on adding another five staff members at the Peachtree City location, and then in the near future, adding a third location at the nearby city of Tyrone. Okay, so a third location as well. All right, and um, you employ approximately 35 right now. Uh, with the expansion plan, you're looking at approximately 60, is that correct? Uh, assuming the third office is open, yeah, the optimal number of employees that we would need would be about 20 at each location. So it adds up to be about 60, yeah. Cool. Well, let me ask you a question. Are you aware of what we do here at ADP and who we are? I've heard of you some from clients, fellow doctors, but I'm not exactly sure. All right, well, let me tell you a little bit about it. We're a software company that's located in 125 countries, and we serve over 425,000 small businesses. We specialize in cash management, uh, people management and risk management software. And I actually have a handout here for you guys. Thank you. All right, just take a look over that. Now let me ask you, who does your payroll for your business? I uh, do the payroll single-handedly and all payroll-related tasks. Oh, okay. Now, would you consider that a part-time job or a full-time job? Well, when I first started doing it, it was supposed to be a part-time thing. And, you know, as we've expanded and taken on more employees, it's really turned into a full-time thing. It's really consuming a lot of my time, more time than I'd really like. And we've actually considered hiring uh, an individual strictly to manage our payroll so that I have more time uh, to do other things around here and also at home. All right. Wow, that's uh, another expense you guys can't really afford to have there. Mm -hmm. um, now, does this really affect your uh, plans of expansion? I mean, if we needed to add another individual, like an accountant or an HR representative, it would definitely put a damper on our time frame we set for our expansion. So it would definitely postpone it if not put it out of the water altogether. Okay. Um, and um, you took on this workload uh, when you had one location, I'm assuming. Um, now, it's not really anywhere near what it was before. You probably have taken on a lot more responsibility a with lot. these other locations, correct? The, the, then uh, the second location has really put a lot more work for me uh, in my day-to-day -day, uh, operations. Now, if you don't mind me asking, do you guys have any kids? Uh, yes, we have two children, and they're both under 10 years old. Oh, wow. So you yeah. think that definitely takes a lot of time. So you could be spending a lot more time with your children. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you kept your payroll business in line. Yes, I could. All right, if you don't mind me asking, uh, which software do you guys currently use? Um, it's a software uh, called uh, Microsoft Dynamics. Okay, Microsoft Dynamics. I'm, I'm familiar with that. Um, do you know how costly it is for your business? Um, it's, it's, uh, we have to spend $1,500 every year to upgrade the software and have it remain current. Wow, that, that's a lot for a small business owner like yourself. Mm -hmm. um, now tell me, is this, is this software easy to learn? Um, and uh, is the information entered, is it manually or is it processed automatically? Um, it's pretty easy to get the hang of it, but um, everything is like done manually. Uh, everything's like entered manually. I have to like, for, like from like, entering uh, people, how much they work per day, you know, mm -hmm. and like per week and for their paychecks and whatnot, right. all of it's manually. Okay, all right. So <clears throat> roughly how much time does it take, uh, take Ellen to do payroll? Uh, it takes me uh, three minutes each time card, and um, another uh, two, and it takes for like, when I'm stuffing each check, it takes about two hours to get all the checks in every single envelope. Wow, so that, that's, that's definitely a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, it's, if I'm calculating this correctly, about five hours just to do the payroll every other week? Yep. Wow, okay. So now you take that number and multiply it by about 26 for the number of weeks are in a year, and um, that's assuming that everything goes perfectly smoothly. Um, now, do you face a lot of problems when you're carrying out these processes? Uh, yeah, the, I definitely run into problems, you know, just not entering the correct amount of uh, hours for somebody and they don't get uh, pay as much as they should. Right. And yeah. tax season is always, like, pretty hectic, you know. Right. I, I would assume that uh, your employees would get pretty concerned with this. Mm -hmm. um, I've had multiple complaints for people not receiving as much money as they should on their paychecks. Well, that is not good. Hopefully we can take care of that. Well, if you go ahead and go lead with us on this ADP thing. 
Um, now, definitely would affect employee morale, like you're speaking, um, if they're not getting compensated correctly every pay period. Um, now, assuming that you didn't have to deal with the payroll anymore, how would you reallocate that time? Um, I would take it to go back from a full-time back to a part-time to go back home and spend more time with my kids and just focus more on like raising them and growing with them instead of dealing with all this payroll um, stuff I have to do here. Okay. So can I go back to the software for a minute? Mm -hmm. uh, how does it handle time paid off? Uh, or time. paid time off, excuse me. Um, we don't really have something really set up for that. It's kind of just we, uh, we have to go back and enter that in ourselves if somebody has a sick day or... If so, if some if something needs a paid day off or something like that, we have to go back and enter that. Anyway. And now, when are your employees able to view that? Um, they're not. That's really just strictly up to us, like and making sure we enter it correctly. Okay, so, um, but during what time period are they able? They, they have to be able to see it at some point. Uh, Is um, it? It's usually in a report that uh, we send out each month. Every month. At okay. The end of each month. All right. Well, that's not very frequently. So, um, I'm assuming that employees are getting concerned. Um, and would call in to inquire what what their current um, pay time off is between these these periods, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and now I also that I imagine there are some errors with a method like that. Um, have you ever messed up the calculations? Um, yes, we've definitely messed up uh, uh, employees with their uh, using their pay time off. Um, sometimes we don't give them the, the, the proper amount of days off that they've earned, like pay them for the uh, proper amount of days they take off. And sometimes we just end up uh, paying them too much, and we end up eating money that way. Uh, for a d paid days off that they didn't take or earn. I can't imagine that adds up well. Mm -hmm. Now, with the current software, are you able to generate all the reports you'd like to be able to? Um, not necessarily. All the reports we do generate are very simple, and there are a lot of extra calculations and work that are needed if we want the reports to actually be useful. I mean, they're, they're slightly useful right now, but there, there's definitely more that we could add into them. It's just very time-consuming and costly. Okay, and now let me address the issue of taxes as well. Um, do you handle the tax deposits, W-2s, and quarterly filings? And have you ever had problems with that as well? Yes, Ellen handles all the tax responsibilities, and we have been penalized one time four years ago for late reporting, and we're forced to pay a fine. Okay, so if I'm grasping everything from what I've written down, um, the majority of your problem is time consumption. You're, there's a lot of time consumption, correct? Yes, definitely. Um, you're enduring a lack of simplicity in your current system, a loss of money due to errors, um, which obviously when you manually in input it, it, it's very common and very uh, likely for that to happen. Um, you're having to cut and stuff the checks. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great deal of stress on you and uh, your husband. And um, now if we had a software that would enable you guys to free up some time and alleviate all these problems, would that interest you? Of course. I mean, as we expand, the workload is just going to increase more and more. So as long as we keep with our expansion plan, then we're definitely going to need something like that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and we'll have Dan run through some of the specifics. He's our technical supervisor, so he'll go ahead and run through a quick uh, PowerPoint with you. All right, so based on what you've said today, um, I believe that our run program would be best for you. So I'm going to show you a quick um, demonstration of our run program. Okay, now run's a very powerful system. It's a cloud-based hosting system. It'll offer every product that we do available at your fingertips. Um, whether you're on vacation or you're at home, if you ever need to look at this, it's readily available. So first I'll show you your, your payroll home. Um, this is going to be your interface. You're going to have your, your payroll, you're going to have your reports, you're going to have, if you opt in for our HR package, um, our 411 HR package, you can even get right on with that. Um, as well as re rewards. Um, another service that they didn't tell you about is we can also offer background checks. Okay. We can service all your HR functions as well for new hired employees. Um, and we can also come in and take a look at your job descriptions will write job descriptions and employee manuals for you. So I believe I can save you a lot of money there as well. Okay. Um, so once you, once you leave your, your payroll interface, mm -hmm. um, you pick where you want to go. It, say you have a, a new employee. So you'll be able to view any of your employees' information. It saves you from having paper filing cabinets and a lot of overhead to house this information. Okay. Um, all available at your interface all available at your fingertips. So when you hire a new employee, um, if you go with our HR package, we'll have done the background check and all the information for you. So all you'll have to do is add them into the system. Okay, it looks pretty simple to enter. They'll, they'll provide with all the information. It looks like it's very simple to use. It is. Basically, it's their address and what little bit of contact info you need. 
Um, so that's all available at your fingertips as well. Okay. Um, and then from there, if for our payroll package, basically you just enter the, the payroll. You enter their hourly rate or their salary rate. Okay. Um, how Typically, how do your employees get paid? Uh, we do a clock-in system, and each um, employee earns a, a, a different amount per hour. Okay. So the, the, the clock-in has worked easiest for us. Well, absolutely. With ADP, um, we offer that service, or we offer an automatic pay service, if that's something you're interested in. In other words, we can set your employees up for 40 hours a week, so that's exactly what they're going to get paid, okay. and we can also do your taxing from, from your payroll there. You can handle our taxes with this software, too? Absolutely. Absolutely. With our, with our, with our taxes, we could, we could issue W-2 forms, um, as well as all your tax accounting. Come tax season, as you said, uh, it takes you a considerable amount of time. Yeah, um, I think last year it took me uh, about, uh, I can't remember exactly how long, it just took me two weeks, I think it was, to get all that together. Okay, absolutely. Well, we would certainly have all that readily available for you. We also issue... Um, before we would we would cut the checks and post the checks to all your employees, it would give you a preview so you could go through and double check all of our work. Okay. Um, and you can make sure that it's right. Now we can offer reports to you as well, um, as often as you want. Whether you want them monthly, you want them quarterly, you want them yearly, you want them biweekly, or you want them weekly. At any time, you go onto our our interface and you can access the full reports on all your employees. It'll be very helpful. So now, back to back to taxes. So, with taxes, you have the option of, of tax accounting. Um, that'll give you your quarterly federal tax returns, your allocation schedules, as well as the other tax forms right at, right at your fingertips, as well as instructions on how to issue those taxes. Okay. Um, now, from job descriptions, we would come in, we would analyze it, and set that stuff up as far as HR goes. Okay. Um, do you have any questions on, on the system? No, the system seems pretty easy to use. Um, would there be any form of training that I would have to go through, any other employees would have to go through for this? For the particular training, I would come in and I would help you get set up. Okay. Um, I personally would come in and teach you how to use the system. Because I would be the one that would mainly be dealing with all of this. Absolutely. Um, and we would train you and your husband if that's what you would like. Yes. That way have a, just a just in case he has to do something when I'm not in the office or something or I have to go home. Now with this system, typically because of all the, the sensitive information, you'd want it secure. So you wouldn't want all the employees to be able to access this yes. information. It'd probably just be between the two of us. Absolutely. Right now. But if you needed to train your accounting department, I'd be more than willing to come back and help you with that. Okay. Um, based on what you heard, what services would you be interested in? Well, as we said, we're looking to expand. So the HR thing could really come in handy down the line. But until we get the payroll part on track, then we, we can't even think about that yet. But it definitely seems like you got a pretty good solution to that. Now, based on now based on everything you've said, mm -hmm. I personally believe I can save you at least fifty percent. I can save you your cost based on the time you spend working on payroll. Okay. I can give you your time back to spend with your children and your family. And as far as HR goes, when you hire people, I can save you on the background checks. I can save you on the job descriptions that'll save you with lawsuits and lawyers' costs. Okay. Um, we stand behind our product. If there's any discrepancies, we'll issue you a credit for any any for any discrepancies problems. Now, based on what you've heard, can I offer you a package today? Well, I'm, you've told us a lot of information as of right now, but I think we should get someone else a third party in on this let me check around a little bit maybe set up a second meeting in the near future and then we'll further discuss a more specific package tailored to our clinic in specific okay absolutely um that's not a problem i'll be able to take this back and i'll, I'll put together some numbers for you uh okay. do you think we could come back say friday three days yeah that right. sounds good if you can put it together that fast okay okay so i'll have you uh have you guys meet with my secretary outside, lovely lady. We'll get you guys booked for Friday afternoon. Does it work for you guys? Absolutely. Great. What time works great for you? Lunch is at one. Three. Lunch with you at three. Three o'clock. Mm, yeah, three will work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Sounds good. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.